Ok, guys, I'm here today with New Balance, a huge honor for me. Guys, he's one of the best selling instructors on BGJFanatics.com and uh, he has an amazing like a uh, mix of grappling, let's say like that. He's very good at mixing like jiu-jitsu, wrestling and uh, grappling, like no gi. And, uh, and also catch wrestling. So he's just shooting a new instructional video here for us, that's the snap guard game. And today he's gonna show us here one of the favorite techniques that he used that's very, very cool and I had never seen before. So, very excited to learn from him. Okay, all right. So, the snap, the snap guard is just going from a bottom position to a top. So, basically, without getting to the whole theories of it, is playing the bottom position. And what I'm trying to do is get up with him below me. If he counters that, he'll grab me and I can pull back and make my guard happen. So what this does is kind of, it kind of helps with your hand fighting, but it also helps you win the scramble. Okay, so in this case, let's just say I'm here, I got one elevator in and one trap on the outside. I'll use this to get myself close. I'll be hand fighting with uh, Bernardo, we're playing, and I'm start grabbing his arm, okay? I'm grabbing his arm because I want him to basically start to grab me. So and I can go from here, I'm gonna start bringing them in to like an overhook position. I'm gonna relock on my bottom le leg. And from here, I'm gonna give him a little stretch, get on my hand, get my head nice and tall. And I'm gonna get my bottom leg out. And now I'm gonna come on top and get to a front headlock position, okay? Now when I'm here, I'm gonna be on his chin. And his other arm can be in a couple positions here. I can be deep under or I can be short. It really depends on who he is and how he's playing me. So basically I got up now. I used my overhook get up to get to the snap position. Now from here, I'm gonna go for a little different attack that most people are used to. You know, normally you think, oh, he's gonna guillotine me or he's gonna attack my arm or what? He's gonna take, he's gonna go behind me. But actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna set something else up that's kind of funky, okay? So when I'm here, I'm gonna now work his head, I'm gonna pull it, and I, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make him circle this way a little bit. So what I'm trying to do is get this arm to reach, and then just to do that, I'm just gonna pull his head and go to the side. See how his arm moves, okay? And create this pocket. Now from here, I'm going to now step through his, arm, uh, or his armpit, and I'm gonna circle this leg in. Okay, so from here it circles in. Like you would see a, a crucifix set up. Now from here, instead of locking for his neck, I'm gonna go to what we call like a power half position. I'm going to grab under, then the underhook, hands close to his head, and I'm gonna drop my elbow down. And when I do this, I'm gonna lean towards my elbow. Bernardo's head's gonna go down. It's gonna be very uncomfortable for him. And he's gonna have to roll with me as I do this. So as I drop this down, he has to come with. Now he's been turned. Once he turns, this transition will be very, very fast. I'm going to now swing this leg over his head and kick my other leg straight and pull that out so his head now is on my leg. From here, I quickly pull, re-grip on the arm, pop it in tight. Now I lock my figure four, and as I squeeze the choke, I always make sure I push this down to my arm leg and curl. So I'm getting both the leg scramble, the strangle, and this right here is like a kimura. It's a downward arm crank. Okay. Now, if I need extra power here on my lock, so if I have a bad lock, I can now quickly rotate and to get this leg a little deeper. See how I hook it? Are you okay? Yes. And then from <laughs> here, now that I've got a little better grip, I can pop back and now I can get that arm and get a better grip. When in doubt, I retain my top position. Okay. So guys, uh, look how amazing it is, like, he was started from the guard, he went to the front headlock position, he went to the crucifix, and he ended up with the triangle. Yeah. So that's really, really cool. Yeah, it works actually pretty fluid, and when, when you do it fast, it's pretty brutal. Um, 
it's not as hard and complicated as it looks. Yes. I just take it. Can you do one more time here? Yeah, the, the finish is a common judo finish. And I just took it and blended it in to, with some wrestling and jiu-jitsu, basically. Yeah, so look at this, guys. He mixed it like a judo finish with uh, jiu-jitsu. He's playing guard. With wrestling, he went to the front headlock. Put, a, put it all together, and that, that's the technique. So that's awesome. So we're here. We're playing. I'm working. Got to move. Get my bottom leg. Now I'm out. Hit my front headlock position nice and tight. Now I'm going to get him to move with me. So I'm going to go to the side, move my head, yank his head, and I'm going to get in the step. There's the arm. He's through. Now he's here. Now quickly, once I get here, I'm going to use the momentum of my weight hitting him to jam my head, on, head in to that power half. It goes right over. It kicks through. Lock. If it's too far and I can't have it, I simply rotate, get that curl, switch back. And now he's here. And of course, what happens if I fail? I could always work with figure four, or I simply re-pummel, get to my top position. Guys, yeah, really, really cool. And uh, it's amazing to see like, how he plays this type of game that he's doing guard, but his goal is not to get a sweep, it's to go to the front headlock on top. And then when he's on top, he goes for a crucifix, or this and that, so it was really, really good of you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks. I try to use my legs whenever I can to help finish and change position, just like you did. So. I got it, man. That was amazing. What was that quote that you told us earlier about the how you should think about your legs? Uh, I mean, Carl Prezian said your legs should be like two independent snakes that move independently, they think independently, and they both bite. <laughs> Man, that's amazing. That was a great one. Yeah, it's a good one. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it.